Well, time now, 5.03. A bill banning transgender women from taking part in women's college sports is headed to the governor's desk after passing both the House and Senate. Tennessee is on a path to passing more anti-LGBTQ laws than any state in the country. Our Rebecca Butcher talked with a trans cyclist who says her home state is doubling down on discrimination. For Darren Johnson, a transgender athlete, competitive cycling means putting aside the concerns of her body. Any time that I set out on a ride, um, I felt like I was moving at least towards a sort of uh, 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 a, a middle ground where gender wasn't the primary focus. What the focus was my performance. Johnson believes the state is intent on doubling down on discriminatory attitudes. Today, a Tennessee bill which wouldn't allow trans athletes to join women's collegiate sports teams passed the House and Senate. We're in the middle of a um, a real push uh, to marginalize those already marginalized, those already made to feel um, outside uh, the community's experience. And this legislation does nothing but push those same folks further out. Johnson served as president of a club cycling team in college and is currently a competitive cyclist. How there certainly might have been questions from time to time about what that was going to look like. Uh, those questions are not surprising given this horrible picture that's being painted by so many others. Bill sponsor Senator Joey Hensley argues the legislation is not discriminatory, but creates a level playing field for athletes born female. There's female athletes, especially on the college level, have trained all their lives to compete. And we just need to make sure that's a level playing field. Senator Hensley has said uh, on this on this question that the best guy is always going to be the best gal or something uh, close to that effect. Um, first of all, that's a rather big presumption. In Memphis, I'm Rebecca Butcher.